Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey, and today we're going to be touring the island of Glimmer by Deku.na over on Instagram, also known as Fell. This island is going to be a natural, kind of fairy core ish island. It does come with a pretty heavy backstory, so let me get into that with you. The character is in Afterlife. The island is a mix of places, people from her time on Earth mixed with an exaggerated dreamscape and her idea of heaven. So villagers are her beloved toys, pets, and imaginary friends from her life that keep her company. So, wow, there is a lot to unpack on this island. So let's get going. Okay, so first off, this entrance is so beautiful. I could see how this would be like a childhood dream, a storybook, imagination of heaven. It's absolutely stunning. So let's get going and see what the island has for us. As a disclaimer for this island, I did come with a wide angle camera because I felt like it would be viewed beautifully with a wide angle camera so you guys could catch all of these stunning views. And also I did turn off collision because I got stuck and lost within the first five seconds between resident services and the entrance. And y'all know me, I am stuck core. So let's, let's get going. I want to show you the island. So we just have some beautiful natural terraforming going on over here. This is the path to the entrance. Everything is absolutely stunning. We have our Nook's Cranny right here, our character. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. We have our character in a sheep hood right next to the Nook's Cranny. This is just beautiful right here. I feel like every place on this island is a picture. Cheery is welcoming us to the island. I love it. And then we just have some very natural terraforming surrounding resonance services. I am all about it. Luna is over here just hanging out with us. And look at this flag, you guys. This flag is beautiful. It is so pretty. I'm going to go to the right. Usually I go to the left, but I'm going to go to the right this time. We have this land bridge moment with the little bubbles and the cherry blossoms floating through the air. This path is absolutely gorgeous. I love that. And then we have a little hop hop situation going on that's going to lead us to this first villager house in the front. It's right in front of the beach. So cute. Such a great way to terraform and decorate this area. Absolutely beautiful. And before I forget you guys, the map on this island is absolutely no joke. So there's Cherry, uh, Cherry and Dekuna, and oh my goodness, look at this, the terraforming, holy terraforming Batman. We are definitely in for a lot of treats. If you're a natural decorator, then this is the island for you. All of the inspiration here. I love this little area that leads to the house over here. That's so cute. It looks so pretty. All of these things are not hard to do, but whoever thinks of them, I definitely do not. The terraforming is next level, so beautiful and natural. And then all of the mushies that are dropped and the pumpkins planted everywhere, they just look so pretty. Wow. So we have another villager house right here. Absolutely stunning. I love it. The sign pointing us back to resident services, but I don't want to go there. I want to go over here because wow, that's so pretty. This area, this little bridge area and this view is absolutely gorgeous. I love this with the natural waterscaping down there, the sunken waterfall. It just looks beautiful. I love all of the little pet plushies. Those are super cute. I love the puppies in this game. I love that they're playing with a ball. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And then that was our Nook's Cranny. So we're gonna keep going this way over here. 
And we have Chrissy's house right over here. It looks super pretty. I love that the houses right next to each other are pink and blue with little matching wreaths. The house is a match and that's so cute. And this pillar on top of a cliff like that, oh my gosh. It, I'm sure it can be seen from far and wide and it looks beautiful. Wow. Over here, we have a little dollhouse area. Oh goodness, it's so beautiful. And then across the bridge over here, we have a little bit of a darker house. I'm gonna go inside. So inside the house gives off like wooden cabin kind of feels. What would be over there? Oh, with a little bed over here. That's so pretty. Oh goodness. And then over here we have like a back patio and a deck. Very nicely done. For the upstairs, we have what looks like a standard attic and I love that. Um, that's really cool. Very nice. I did love it. It does give a very cottagey feel to it. And then here we have a nice little tunnel. I always love these tunnels with the arch and then the pergola and the arch. They just look so beautiful. And we have our Abel, Abel sisters over here. Abel sisters decor is no joke. It looks so good. Very fantastical and whimsical and structured at the same time. Absolutely beautiful. Everything on this island is stunning. There's kind of a little shopping nook in here. It's very cute. I do love that. I love the idea of that as well. It's just really cute. And then if we go around the front, we have a cute little house area right here with an apiary. It's gorgeous. I love this little apiary so much. It's so cute. I do love that there's multiple ways to get a lot of places on this island and I really like that. It's like you can jump across here to re reach resident services, you can jump across the front. And then uh, speaking of going to the front, this little path leads to the front beach and there's some layered blankets that are beautiful and our campsite over here. I'm trying to go a little bit slow because the island is laggy. There's a lot of items here, so it definitely makes for lag core, which I totally identify with. But it is beautiful. This is so pretty. If you visit this island yourself, you'll have to let me know what you thought of it. I feel like it's stunning. So the apiary is attached to Sylvia's house right here, which also has a little part of the beehives and the apiary up here. This all looks really nice, so beautiful and natural, very pretty. We are right above the campsite if you need like a waypoint. There's so much waterscaping on this island. There's a ton of water here. It's so pretty. Okay, so moving right along, we have the view of a little bridge down there. We have a cute little teddy bear picnic. And these are like across the air hop hops, right? Is that the way that's supposed to? It is, okay. So we just come across this way. Oh my goodness. And that is so pretty. There's a little eating area over here. So beautiful. And then right here, you have another stunning view. This time it's a rock garden, which I love. There's four rocks down there. I don't know where the other two are. Maybe we'll find them. Very pretty. Let's see, do I come down here and take the path? I feel like this path is going to, it does lead somewhere, okay. We have a little carnival over here on the beach. I love that. I do love the way this is closed in. And then we have the teacup ride over there on the beach. And if we come through here, we will see all of the buildings and everything on the beach. It looks like so much fun, right? 
I think IRL, I'd have so much fun here. I love that the little bunnies look like they're in love. That's so cute. And then over here, we have the little wheel thing, Ferris wheel, and we have our little gyroid friend and some ice cream, a vanilla cone sitting there in case you want it. And then let's go up this way. Oh wait, did we go to the bridge over here? We didn't. Let's go to the bridge over here and just check out the view because look how pretty that is. If you go over here and you just look at the view, it's absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Okay, so let's go across over here and go up this way. I'm gonna go over these two hop hops over here. And then we have this beautiful view of a little cottage house. It's so cute. I love this little fluffer machine here. I know it's a cloud machine. It just looks like a fluffer machine to me. Look at that. It's just sending up puffs. So cute. And then over here, we have another teddy bear friend. It looks like he caught an ant so that he has a friend here too. We all like to have a little bit of a friend every now and again, right? And we have our other character on the island. This is Dekuna. Where's Cherry? Uh-oh, I don't know, where is he? Ooh, gosh, she was pretty badly injured. Okay, so inside Dekuna's house is really just very cute. It's very homey and cozy and pretty. Wow, these interiors are so good. So this back room must be her bedroom. It looks like a child's bedroom and I love that. That window is so pretty. Oh my gosh, is that a whole custom design? I think it is and it's beautiful. So over here we have a little bathroom. Very pretty, very relaxing looking. It's, it's gorgeous, wow. So the left side is the coziest kitchen I've ever seen. It's just very cuddly and cozy and beautiful. I love how those curtains move when you run by them. Wow, that's so cool. I love the butterflies around the little plants. Oh yeah, see, see, this is what I mean. Nothing good ever comes with the basements. Is she inside this freezer? What's going on? Why the garbage bags? What's up with this room right here? No, see, I yeah, there's a reason I don't go into basements. Okay guys, I think my island tours might be basement free from now on. Just took this cutest, most cozy looking house and stuck a murder basement in it. Wow, what's the suitcase trying to tell us? <gasps> what's going on right there? Oh my gosh. And then she's standing there looking all injured and stuff. Maybe I just don't do interiors anymore. Let's go back to heaven. Let's go back to this child's version of heaven. I don't wanna think about what happened. Okay, so there's a cute little flower shop right here. It's absolutely adorable. And then there's a sand castle. Oh, look at this cute little nook right here. I love the custom design that all of these mushroom part, um, parasols are on. And then there's a beautiful little reading area right there. I was warned that there are morbid clues to how the main character was no longer with us. I just didn't real. I didn't expect, I guess I just didn't expect that when I saw the island because it's beautiful. It's so pretty. <laughs> I should pay attention when people describe things to me as morbid. Look how pretty this is. This is so beautiful. I refuse to think about what happened inside that house. This is beautiful, stunning. Gorgeous, uh, the island of my dreams, except for that. Let's go here. This is so pretty. I love the entrance to the museum. It was covered up so nicely. 
This little walkway right here covered those red banners. It looks so good, so good. And then if we go along this way, there's a little tea shop, which I love. So I guess you would come in here, you'd have a little bit of tea and then you'd carry on with your little island visit. Very cute. And then moving right along down here, we are back at the cottage over here. So we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep it moving this way. The terraforming here, you guys, is so pretty. It's very relaxing. Just another stunning view on this island of stunning views. So beautiful. Let's go back here. There's a little back beach over here. It looks like a little reading nook, which I love. I love a good reading nook. And then up on this cliff, we have a cute little picnic area, which also I love so much. So if you come up to the third story cliff behind the little flower shop, there's this little area right over here. It's just a cute little camping area. It looks like a little child's stargazing area. I love that. There's a ladder that gets to it and you can also get to it through the side of the museum. On the other side of the museum, we have Mallard Books over here, which is really cool. I love the idea of a book shop next to the museum. Okay, so let's go back. If we take this little trail right here next to the side of the deserted beach, then there's another little sunken waterfall right here. Really cute. Another hop hop kind of situation. I love that all of the ways of getting around are really like a ch child's fantasy world. This is really pretty. Wow. How do I get back? Let's go this way. Can I go over here? Hello? Okay, over here with Maple. Maple has a very cozy little home as well. Super pretty. I love the way this looks. It is really gorgeous. And then down here we have a sunken waterfall. Wow. I'm telling you, the terraforming classes that this person took are not classes that they give the rest of us crossers. Um, they give us the normal lessons. The lessons that this Animal Crosser took are different. So we've reached the right of the islands, like by Chrissy's house, and there is another little ladder over here that we're going to climb and uh, see where this leads. There's also another hop-hop situation going on over here. This is closer to the right side of the island, and... Hopefully, oh gosh, it looks very dark. <gasps> what is going on? Why? So something happened and there was a problem. I just got chills. Have you guys ever read the book, The Lovely Bones? That's what this island reminds me of. This island reminds me of that movie. Um, something nefarious happened over here. There's a boat over there with trash bags next to it. There's a trash over there. Something happened on to this child that she is carrying with her in the afterlife. Wow. This island is very deep. Okay, guys, sadly, that is the note we're leaving off on. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this very original island tour and this island design by Deku. I'm going to go ahead and put all of their Instagram and their socials down in the description below. Go and give them a follow. Let them know how amazing their island is. I mean, this island is really cool. And if you want to dig deep into the story of how the child was taken um that is there's clues left all over the island it is open to your interpretation i chose not to interpret it um because i just came for the beauty and the aesthetic of the island but if you would like to dig into it then i highly encourage you come and see what happened for yourself thank you guys so much for hanging out with me i appreciate you so much i know you can be anywhere in the entire world and you chose to hang out here with me for just a little bit. And I appreciate you so much for that. 
I hope everyone has a wonderful day or night, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.